Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to solve the KPMG virtual internship task one. So first of all, I would like to tell you that this internship is not for the person who want to pursue their career in a software engineering field, because this is the internship is totally for those who want to pursue their career in a data science, data analytics, or the big data field. Okay. So if you are for the software engineering field, the J P Morgan Chase and Company internship is the best for you. Okay. So start with this internship. Scroll down. and for the completion of this internship you have to complete three tasks in this video i'm going to solve the task 1 and the upcoming videos i will cover the task 2 and task 3 so for the as you as you can see the first task is data quality assessment and, and in this task you have to get the skills that is data quality analysis and analytic analytical dashboard creation okay so for the solving this task we will the task So what you have to do in this task is you have to just to take a look what is your task. Okay. So here's the background information on your task. Sprocket Central Private Limited is a medium-sized bike and cycle accessory organization has approved by the census. Okay. So on. What you have to do? Uh, okay. So three data sets are provided by the following company. That is customer demographic, customer addresses, and the transaction data in the past three months. Okay. And what is your task? You have to, you have to draft an email to the client identifying the data quality issues and strategies to mitigate these issues. Okay. So you have to draft an email and make sure the three column in your mail. What are the three clock three columns? That is number of records, number of unit, number of records, number of unique records, and the receiving date. On which date you will receive this data? So, for getting the data set, click on the click to download this file. After click on after clicking on it, you will get the data set in your system. Just check your download and open this data set. Okay. so this is overall you will get this this page okay as you can see kpmg virtual internship is procured central private limited data set to view did the data set click on the yellow tab sheet at the bottom of this file okay so at the bottom of this file yeah this one you can see at the at the bottom of your page that is there is a transaction new customer list customer demographic and customer address but we have to deal only three data set that is transactions customer demographic and customer addresses so you have to get three numbers click on the transactions and here you have to get the you have to get the number total number of records and the total number of unique records and sorry total number of records and the total number of unique ids not records and the and the last one is receiving date so receiving date should be the date of today uh, when you will submit your work okay so for getting the unique record or for getting first of all for getting the total record click on any any upper column like this and you will get the total number of counts to so for the transaction the total number of the total number of counts is 2 20000 2 and for the unique records of the ids so for the for this select the customer id and click on data on the upper side and apply the filter and tick on the advance and click select the unique records only and click on okay so after applying the filter it will take some time okay so now filter has been applied and you can see the total number of count is approx 3495 so this so these are the unique records of the transaction table so you will get the value of total number of record you will get the total unique rec unique ids in this data set on the same process for the customer demographic click on that customer demographic data set 
and for getting the total number of records select any one like this and you can see the total number of count is 4002 or uh, and after then select the customer id as already select click on filter inside the data section click on advanced unique records only as you can see the total number of records and the unique ids are same inside the customer demographics so there is not any duplicate value okay so this is same for the customer graph demographic and the last one is customer for the customer address so how to get the total number of records you you all know very well click on any upper column just set, just see the total number of records which is showing inside the count that is 4001 records are there and for the unique ids click on the this one and apply filter on the data section click on advance tick unique records only click on ok it will take some time and the value are same as the total number of records so means there is not any duplicate value in the customer addresses so there is not any duplicate id customer id in a customer address and the customer demographic but there is a duplication in the transaction so you will get all the all possible values for drafting an email so how to draft an email for this i i have a sample that i use for my submission of during this internship this one so first of all you have to make a table and inside this you have to create three columns first for the number of records and second one second one is for the unique ids and the third one is for the receiving date and make sure the receiving date should be the date when you submit this assessment and as we deal with the three three data sets that is transaction data set customer demographic and customer addresses so how to write the mail that is to start with the Greetings that is dear client. First of all, we would like to thank for giving these data set and during the processing on data set, we get the following overview and these value as the values that you will get during the working on the data that previously we are working on the Excel that is on this slides. Okay. So these values are get from that Excel table as i already told you how to get these values and the issues related with data set that is additional customers ids as we can see the additional customer ids in the case of data set in the transaction data set so this one this one is the issue and the various columns such as brand purchase have empty value that will create that will lead to the data loss and inconsistent data type with the same attribute and inconsistent data values with the same attribute so these basically there are four problems with that piece or with the data sets and after that you have to write like we are moving forward for the further processing like data cleaning is a standardization etc and it will be great to spend some time with your data okay after the records and your name so this is how you complete the first task you have to submit this word file or you can convert into the pdf and submit it as your submission or you can directly submit this word file for submit this word file click for submitting this word file click on the chrome again where you are working with this one and uh, slide down here submit your work here you have to submit your work for submitting your work click on the drop files here click for the upload click on this and select any file that you want to upload as I already uploaded so I will not upload there you can upload and after, and once you you upload your file you will get the email that your work has been submitted it is under review okay so this is how you have to solve the KPMG virtual internship data science internship task first in the next video we will see the how to solve that task too and in the last video we have to see how to make a visualization on the tableau by using tableau platform okay so if you like this video thumbs up and share with your friends who want to pursue their career in the data science or data analytics field so thank you so much for watching this video